Is GPO making a comeback? It's something I never even thought I would consider it making a comeback. However, For You has been non-stop updating this game ever since Update 10 came out. In my opinion, even though Update 10 was a little bit lazy, it wasn't the greatest update, it was basically waiting simulator, it was basically For You just getting those premium payouts. For You has been updating the game pretty much non-stop ever since it came out, even with small tiny updates. Update 10 came out just over a month ago. That It came out on the 17th of uh, June, and at the time of recording this video, it is currently the 22nd of July. So it came out just over a month ago. The fact that 4U now has the game at update 10.5 is insane. Usually it takes 4U even like 4 or 5 months just to get to a 0.5 update. But update 10.5 came out earlier today, and it's not a massive update because it is a 0.5 update. But it does show that 4U is now working on the game and can push these updates out quickly. So who knows, update 11 could be a couple months away. Which update 11 might be um, Whole Kick Island, I don't know. Uh, I just know Whole Kick Island is coming. So yeah, we're going to look through these patch notes real quick of what's new in the update. And then we're going to look through the new battle pass. And I might even hop into a quick battle royale game just to end off the video. So as this, you can see, this update focuses mainly on season 5 uh, battle royale. Uh, there's a new map uh, which looks very cool. This is all focused off JJK, so I'm assuming the map is based off JJK. Uh, I'm only about 17 episodes into it, so I'm not overly sure. I'm not going to focus on this too much, uh, like reading out all these small bits. There's a new lobby. That looks awesome. I can't lie. There's a new battle pass, which we'll look at in a minute. Uh, so yeah, basically race wheels, dark roots, all this normal stuff. A new chest and new cosmetic outfits. These are them all here. Oh my... Okay, I might have to play this just so I can get Panda. Okay, I might have to play this so I can get Panda. Uh, there's a new weapon as well, the Inverted Spear of Heaven. This looks sick. The M1s are nothing too, too, like too, but they're basically just basic M1s. But the actual move, it looks amazing. It looks really cool. You can basically just pull people in towards you. Like, I think that could be really, really useful. Uh, there's now, this is, I think this is the first for a GPO Battle Royale. There's two new Battle Royale bosses. So the only way you can fight these bosses is in Battle Royale. Obviously, they don't drop any drops or anything like that. Uh, but they do drop uh, their curses. So you got Jogo and Uva, Uva Ume. I don't know how to pronounce that. They both both drop their curses. Uh, which Lava Curse, which is what Jogo drops, uh, makes your extra M1s do uh, percentage max health damage. Uh, good for fighting against tanks. And Ice Curse makes your M1 ta make targets uh, vulnerable, making them more damage from everything. Okay. Uh, but your, um, your location is also always visible to players on the map. And if you die while having a curse, players can pick it up, obviously. There's new buildable structures. There's wooden wall, just damage at the very top. Don't know what that means. And there's spikes, there's doors, ladders, there's shacks you can build, a watchtower. Uh, so yeah, wooden planks are going to be uh, quite useful, it seems. There's also new vending machines where you can get armor, depo, devil fruits, uh, medic, and weapons as well. That's very cool. Uh, how, how do you get these? What do they cost? Okay, so it costs Pelly. And you can get Pelly by opening chests or killing other players for their Pelly. Okay, that's awesome. They've added uh, V2 fighting styles to Battle Royale, uh, where you need to eliminate three people uh, and have the required fighting style and find the trainer to learn. You don't need to have the V2 style unlocked in the main game to learn it in Battle Royale. That's, that, that's, that's good to know. There's a skull emoji there, so you can obviously see uh, how many kills uh, you got with that uh, fighting style or whatever. This is huge, I think, uh, for if you play duos or trios or whatever the squad game mode is. Uh, you can hold the middle mouse button. I'm assuming it's also available on mobile uh, somehow. Uh, and you can basically ping. Uh, it shows up on the map as well, which is awesome. Getting a devil fruit from opening a chest is now less common. Out of the day and night cycle for electro. Uh, you can now use melee skills even with a weapon. Okay. And these are all the miscellaneous stuff. They've added a new basic melee skill, ground smash. Okay. That's useless for like the actual main game, but... I guess in the um, in Battle Royale, it could be quite useful early game. Oh, that's also pretty big. This is for mainly for the main game. Uh, PvP protection bounty threshold from 1,000 to 10,000 bounty. Uh, yeah, uh, I'd say that's pretty big for the main game. And also, the, you can now M1 the factory core. Uh, it is also, if you make more of a PvE player, they might be important to you. Anyways, they are all the updates. I'm going to now log in to uh, GPO and play a quick, quick, quick game of Battle Royale. I'll probably die straight off the bat because I don't play Battle Royale. I'm not good at it. I also just don't like it as a game mode, but <laughs> we'll see. So here's the new Season 5 Battle Pass. That's quite a cool background. Uh, I also don't like it because it takes forever to level up. I guess there's, oh, there's only 40 tiers this time. Uh... Now that's really cool. It's probably going to be quite rare in the future as well. So you could grind it out. There's a legendary chest. Uh, where's Panda costume actually? Uh, King of Curses is tier 30. Well, Panda's got to be pretty... 
Planet costumes to 10. I might need to grind this out just, just to get that. I don't like it though, to be fair. You can also buy it 11,000 it costs. Uh, two for one tier, it costs 375 movie books for one tier. That is crazy. That is crazy. Anyways, let's hop into a quick solo battle royale game. Uh, and yeah, we'll, 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 we'll see what happens. Uh, hopefully, we get at least a kill. No guarantees though. Oh, Mythical Madness has been chosen. I swear that's like a 5% chance. Yeah, this could be crazy. I haven't played since they had a Mythical Madness. So this could, this could be interesting. Hey, you can ping, yo. That's, that's good. Is this music not the same from Apex Legends? Uh, where do I want to go to? It's Mythical Madness, so I could really go anywhere. Uh, I'm still there, I get now. I don't know where to go. They need to add a way to move this map without you actually having to be there. Okay, yeah, let's go there. Yeah, we can see it on there as well. It's 2,000 meters away, that can't be right. Oh yeah, okay, that makes sense. It's over the mountain. It literally is Mythical Madness. They are all Mythical Chests. Just give me like a Yoru or something. Got Buddha and Ope. Kikoku, okay, we're going Ope, we're going Ope, we're going Ope. Like that. I have no idea. I've never used Kikoku before. Uh, I've never used Ope before. Shit. He got Venom. He's getting, he's getting out of there. I don't have hockey or nothing. Yeah, you run away, bitch. Get out of there. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing. I have no idea how to play this game. Uh, Yori, Yori, Yori. Equip that. Yep, 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 yep. Piss off. Oh, he's got Ace. Yeah, I'm so dead. I should've just gone sword main, because I have no idea how to... I know how to use Yoru, kind of, but I don't know how to use Ope. I thought he thought he was knocked out then. I thought I needed an older bar. This is why I don't play ball. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. I, 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 I mean, I'm not good at it. I don't know what half this stuff does because I've never used it before. I, I mainly did. I should have just. Oh, if I got Nyori from the start and just focused on my points and sword, I would have been better than that. I, I've just never used open before. Anyways, that's it for this video. Do you think GPO is making a comeback? Um, I think if you keeps up like this, GPO can obviously do good. It would have been better to have these updates rolling out this quickly uh, previously, like um, years ago. But it is what it is. you obviously is starting to grind more on this game, starting to push out more content on this game, which is awesome. Uh, so yeah, hope you enjoyed. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I shall see you guys later.